My name's Sean Spratley and I am an environmental manager and director of ATEC 3D, which uses UAVs or unmanned aerial vehicles to produce a variety of images for most industries' needs. ATEC 3D started as an idea to develop new ways of gathering ground data and the UAV was at the beginning of commercial use, if you like. Currently, we are working with mining professionals to understand better what they need and for us to supply that imagery. The mining companies that we have currently, it ranges from baseline studies of the environment all the way through to stockpile management. So we know how big stockpiles are to get a much better control over the material handling. Um, currently, they use a normal surveyor on the ground. UAVs increase their capability maybe two, three hundred times. One of our clients is JC White. Um, they're a geomatic surveying company um, and they have a need for aerial uh, footage or high level, high level imagery. Okay, this is uh, Western Hangar Castle. We're on a very historic site. My name's Alistair Walls. I work for JC White Geomatics. We are in the surveying industry. We carry out various forms of mapping, um, data capture uh, for various clients who are in construction. A client may own a building and want to know what's actually there from the point of yeah. dimensional accuracy, etc. So our plans will be the basis of any future work. We've been doing laser scanning for about uh, five, six years. This has certain limitations from what we can capture. What ATEC 3D have enabled us to do is to get to places where we would never get before, whether that would be to the rooftops, to the chimney tops, to the top of a church tower. We are getting quality of information that's far beyond what we were probably able to produce before. The photo imagery that we take is within two, three millimetres of, of real. Um, and with their, their scanning ability, it actually will pull it in to one to two millimetres accurate. Um, so you can measure the mortar let width and work out volumes and calculate brick size and, and damage, if there is any damage. You can then refly it and, and actually monitor the degradation of a building very, very easily. This gives our clients a higher level of understanding on what's going on with the building, what deformation there may be in the structure, and um, it takes it to another level. With very little setting up time, we can fly. The pilot itself will pilot the UAV in a flight path to cover the whole building. So, the, the camera is set up on a series of photos which are just continually taking, so every two seconds, every five seconds. And then once you get back to the office, you then plug them into the computer and you stitch them together. It uses a, a program which will automatically stitch it. What we would do is we would get equipment that enabled us to get closer to the building to be able to get the resolution of imagery that we required for the final product. Now this may be involving getting uh, scaffolding or it may involve getting it in some sort of uh, elevating equipment. So instead of using someone with a crane or a pole, they've, they've sort of started to have a look at using UAVs because of the, the ease at which it could be used. A guy with a pole might take um, two, three days to do a building. Uh, we can do it in 40, 50 minutes. A lot of what traditionally was carried out by big companies using aircraft and using very expensive forms of photography, this has now brought it more into the field of just getting someone to fly around the building. It makes it 
very cost efficient and it opens up new doors for the data we can capture. Innovation for me is, is about, first of all, creating an idea, taking that idea to the people or the professionals of the world and seeing if they'll, uh, first of all, engage in, in the solution of the idea. And what I found specifically within, within the UK, definitely everyone is massively interested in getting involved in new projects. It doesn't matter what the project is, if it's got a little bit of excitement or a little bit something a bit new, um, they really want to get their, their, their feet wet and, and are more than happy to, to jump in and, and give a hand where they can.